Hello, welcome to day two of our 21 days of prayer and Bible reading. This is your day two guided prayer. Today we were reading out of 1 Peter chapter 2, and we will kind of pray through some key points in that chapter. But first, let's start off our time of prayer and just thank God for this day for your life, for your family, whatever is on your heart, let's just give thanks for the next few moments. With it being a new day, let's just dedicate this day to the Lord. Just let this day be centered and focused on Him. Ask God, invite God to come in to this day and to do what He wants to do in you, through you. Just surrender your day to Him right now. Our scripture reading for today out of 1 Peter chapter 2 talks a lot about spiritual maturity and just growing up in our faith, growing up in our understanding of God. And you might have a couple goals for what you want to happen over these next 21 days, but I'm sure one of them is to grow in the Lord, is to mature in the Lord. And so let's just ask God right now to to start that work, continue that work really, because the Bible tells us that he's already began a work in us and he will continue it until it's completion. So let's just ask God to do that work in our lives, to help us to grow in him, to grow in understanding, to grow in maturity and to become more like him. last part of 1st Peter chapter 2 it talks about suffering things that you might feel like you're going through that aren't right and aren't fair and it really makes a connection between how we can experience things in our lives like that and the suffering and the unjust suffering that Jesus experienced on the cross And what it challenges us with here in this passage in the last part of chapter 2 is it's telling us, you know, it's commendable 
for someone who holds up under the pain and the unjust suffering and the unfairness that may come, it's commendable for someone who didn't deserve that to stand up under that. But if you deserved it, if you were in the wrong and you're experiencing bad circumstances, that's not commendable. You're just really getting what you deserve. And then it brings this picture of how Jesus didn't deserve any of the things he faced on the cross. He didn't deserve any of it, but he still endured it, endured it as our example. And then in verse 21, it says that we should follow in his steps. So let's ask God, that's a challenging thing to ask God, but let's ask God to help us to trust in him when things don't seem fair and to persevere through difficult times even when things don't seem fair, even when they don't seem right, when it feels like everything's against us. Let's ask God to help us push through and endure that and to uh, really take his example of the cross and to make us patient in our suffering. know God knows what we're going through all the time he understands he's been there Jesus has been there he's experienced things but he loves to hear from us so for the next few moments just pour your heart out to God whatever may be upsetting you if there's anything that's hurt your feelings or that's hurt your heart just pour out your heart to him right now he wants to hear it and he cares Just pour all of your cares, all of your worries, all of your anxiety, any of it. Pour it all out to Him. Verse 25, the last verse of chapter 2 in 1 Peter, it says, For you were like sheep going astray, but now you have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. We have a, a overhead. We have an overseer. We have a shepherd. We have a father who loves us and cares for us. Remember that.